it's been a great journey, uh, not only for me, but for me, my grandfather and um, his three sons. I know he was in the light horse, and back in those days, uh, a lot of saddlers were in the light horse and farriers, and you know, the types of people back then, as you can imagine, were hands on and they were very skilled people. He opened up the business in Wagga in Baylor Street back in 1904, which is a long time ago. He was just a bloke at the time that was running a normal family business. Along the way he had three sons, Bob and Jack and, and Bill. The story unfolds, one went to Tamworth and one went to Cootamundra and my father stayed in Wagga. Back in those days, the, uh, the horse and buggy days were very strong and there was plenty of work and there were quite a few saddleries in Wagga at the time. In fact, you know, you had saddleries in, in places like Adelong, Tumbarumba, Chermit. There was saddleries in every little town in, the, in, um, in well, across Australia. As the other brothers and my father, you know, got on with the job, they had children. My father had myself and my brother Kerry. See how quick I am? Done two inches already. Uh, Jack from Cootamundra had uh, another two sons, and um, Bob from uh, Tamworth had uh, three sons. And ironically, every one of us got involved in the saddlery trade. All saddleries back in those days um, had their stamp of approval. Uh, the thing about a stamp is that usually a stamp is associated with quality workmanship. Um, people don't put stamps on shoddy work. Um, so that the, anybody that stamps their work, it's, it's pretty important and I know they did then and I still do today. Yeah. Well a Hiscock saddle or any saddle, but a Hiscock saddle, um, you uh, talk to your client that uh, you've got to make the saddle for. Um, whether it's a man or a woman or a kid, uh, I've made saddles for all those different types of people over the years and different types of saddles ranging from stock saddles, pony club saddles, western saddles, uh, even uh, race saddles I've made over the years and harness saddles. The process is that you take the dimensions of the, the people, you know, measure their backside and the, the height and the weight, determine the type of saddle they want. The tree, the, the framework that goes inside the saddle is is in the old days were made of wood mainly and lined with steel. You just start from there and from the tree you just build the saddle um, in all the processes to, to the finished product. Back in the 80s or the 70s it was the start of the imported goods. They were pushing a lot of it out into the country areas and city areas as well. They'd bring it in in container loads and have auctions at sale yards around the country flood the market, so it was pretty depressing from that point of view. So I made the decision to get out of retail at the time, so I got out of it and concentrated on custom-made saddlery. It's, uh, it's a beautiful old machine, it's the, it's the Rolls-Royce of machines really. It's, um, when that was built, uh, there was thousands of them made, they're an, an English product. It, they were made to last and this machine is it's unbelievable. It just keeps going year after year. A little bit of oil here and a little bit of oil there, but it never lets me down. Back in my grandfather's day, when a bloke bought a saddle or a set of harness, it was used every day and it was hard work. A lot of it was hand stitched. Even though they had machinery back then, a lot of it was hand sewn because it, it had a probably you know, three times or four times the life expectancy as opposed to machine stitching. The intensity of, of what we did with our hands back then. When I learnt the trade, I learnt to make a saddle the old way, which was very extensive and very hard work and long hours. Over the years, we've changed our technology. It's like all the other trades around, where um, modern ways and modern technology have, have made life easier. I had to make a lot of gear for a stripper one day. That was interesting. It's been a great life. Yeah, I've, it's been good to me. Um, I've, I've really enjoyed it and when I look back I'm glad I, I chose this path. It's only um, reflects on the talent I've got. I can do anything. You know, I make anything virtually. 
If it's out of leather. 